Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide and we are on August 14th, 2021. And welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet and welcome to the Daily Dew where we give you a world wrap up on space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, everything else affecting humanity. Starting out here looking at the sun as the sun produced a C-class solar flare and it was earth facing as well. Looking at that bright region in the center of the sun, you'll see the flash which created a C-class solar flare. Also observing a small sunspot following behind it, same lateral region. Looking at outgoing images here, last 48 hours on the sun, small sunspot, sunspot forms there and slowly dissipates. But watching this active sunspot region did produce a C-class solar flare right there, confirmed by NOAA. And so, NASA. And looking at large plasma filament here, that is that active sunspot region that blew off a small solar flare or CME a few days ago, which I reported, but you can see a large plasma tornado involved right there and look how tall it is you can see the energy stretching way above under the multi-spectrum looking here at 171 angstroms no coronal holes to talk about looking here at lasco 2 and 3 you can see a cme was also shot away but not in our direction. So we had a small CME and as well a C-class solar flare, which is a minor flare at that. Last go three, you can really see how big the event was. And it was not very big. And it looks like it's headed right at Stereo A, which is another satellite that tracks the sun. That is the ISWA Space Prediction Spiral. Looking at a real-time solar wind, we're sitting at about 386 kilometers per second. A little bit jagged there today. Solar X-ray flux, you can see. A little bit raised earlier today, up to C-class. Geomagnetic activity remains low. Looking at Schumann resonance for today, a low power of 9. Nothing major to talk about here with the Schumann resonance. Power of 9, a quality of 12. And looking, a very busy planet for earthquakes. And it did start early this morning with a large 7.2 earthquake in Haiti. Thoughts and prayers going out to possibly the thousands feared missing, hundreds if not dead. So please, thoughts and prayers and send as much care and love to Haiti large 7.2 earthquake collapsed many buildings and many are feared dead so please thoughts and prayers as well we had this 5.4 earthquake mid-atlantic ridge so very active through the caribbean as i warned a few days ago in just a video i was talking about the subduction zone through the caribbean look at all this activity today through argentina as well pretty deep 110 and 116 kilometer depth through argentina and as well, South Sandwich Islands into the Antarctic plate are still going. And sizable too, 5.0s. Looking across the United States, a couple of rare earthquakes popping up here in Esden, Kansas as well, Bluff City. A 3.0 and a 2.6 there reported in Kansas. White City, New Mexico, 3.4 and as well, Toyota. Looks like Toya, Texas, 2.7. But nothing major to report across the U.S. It's still eerily quiet. Eerily quiet. Even across USGS right now, they're, throw, they're only showing 260 earthquakes the last 24 hours. So all of the activity is here, but it's big. We did have a 6.9 early this morning at Perryville, Alaska. As well as 3.9 just recently today in Pahala, Hawaii, 28 kilometer depth. A couple deep earthquakes to talk about here. 4.5, 385 kilometer depth. 
and as well 5.5 there 5.0 here to report western indian antarctic ridge underneath the australian plate and as well papua new guinea 4.6 4.9 there philippines 71 kilometer depth and as well just north there with a 4.6 benkulu 5.0 4.6 Port Blair, India, into the Indian Plate, quiet across Africa and Eurasia, and too quiet through here. I have a big update tomorrow for the volcanic activity port. Stay tuned. A lot of uh, pressure is being released in the middle of the West Pacific. Stay tuned for the, for the volcanic activity report, which will be coming tomorrow. Looking at the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet, we're looking at, it almost looks like a pincushion here. And as well, many elevated rings throughout the last seven days. Large earthquakes, Alaska. Large earthquakes, Central America. Large earthquakes, South Sandwich Islands. And many earthquakes across the rest of the world as well. The only place that is really quiet is Africa. And by the way, it just snowed there in higher elevations. Still recording some pretty cold temperatures. Heads up, North America, way too quiet. Subduction zone, Juan de Fuca. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Looking here at Popo in Mexico. Uh, Fukutoku. Okanoba. And that is a... Uh, Japan volcano, and as well, Nishinashima has awakened again. Karamiski, uh, Sharinkatan in Russia, Sabinkaya in Peru, Fuego in Guatemala, Semisnopochnoi in the United States, Alaskan Peninsula, as well, Pavlov, which isn't listed here, Reventador in Ecuador, Nevados de Chilean and Nevados de Ruiz, Merapi. Shivalich in Russia, Sangay in Ecuador. That's about 13 volcanoes getting updated today, folks. Stay tuned for the volcanic activity report as the number has gone up this week that will be coming up tomorrow. Week 32, volcanic activity report and as well planetary positioning. Looking across the planet right now, we have three tropical storms named we have Tropical Depression Fred, who is heading into the Florida Panhandle right now and then into Florida-Georgia border. We also have Tropical Storm Grace, who is following in behind there, heading to the Caribbean. No major threats there for formation. And we also have a very strong Hurricane Linda, who was a Category 4 overnight, whipped up into a very strong Category 4, packing winds of over 235-kilometer winds. And that's going to be heading westward. And then we've got the situation across northern California. Many fires in fault lines and hotspot areas. As well, we're going to look over the regions here. Oregon into Washington. Washington into Montana. Very smoke-filled skies, as I did share earlier. I went live for about five minutes. Just wanted to share my skies with everybody. Thanks to everybody who got in there and said hi. And then we're looking at southern BC here. Very hot and disastrous situation has formed. We've got about a dozen fires that blew up overnight, and one is very large. Please stay tuned to your local TV and radio stations for orders and as well advisories that may be going out with all of these large fires still burning in southern BC. And looking here central BC into northern Alberta as well. This is overnight. Many new fires just broke out over overnight. We are under immense pressure in which I just released a video two days ago and then right after I released that we've got all these large earthquakes. We've got Fires breaking out on fault lines, volcanoes popping off, 
Thoughts and prayers to everybody going out to everybody. Thoughts and prayers. I'm a little bit passionate about what I do, and I want to thank all of you for watching. This is Overlooking Alberta. These were our skies this morning as the thick smoke moved in. And it's going to be even thicker throughout the day. It should be a very interesting sunset. I'm going to throw the drone up, give a test flight, see what I can catch. But this is all satellite imagery of a very wild and hot situation across the Pacific Northwest and Canada. Looking at the five-day forecast, we do have a bit of relief coming. Having a look, home base Calgary, Alberta. Right after the heat wave, we've got till about Monday afternoon, things are going to start cooling off. That's right, and we're going to get some rain. Yes, yes, Calgary, southern Alberta, we are going to get rain. This is actually pretty exciting. Look at this in the five-day forecast. Coming up Tuesday, we could see 20 to 40 millimeters of rain in Calgary. And look at that snow in the foothills in the middle of August. Oh, what a strange planet we live on. Compressed magnetosphere much? Watch for that heat wave to slowly move eastward, but not really get much hotter. Lots of gulf moisture being funneled up by the low pressure system coming out of Colorado. And as well, Tropical Storm Fred, who will be making landfall Wednesday, Tuesday into Wednesday, overlooking the Atlantic. Doesn't really look like that high pressure ridge has been smashed just yet. Got a pretty strong system heading into the United Kingdom this week. Watch for pretty strong winds with that one. And as well, a very well organized low pressure system here moving through northern parts of Europe. Watch for the wave of moisture to stretch all the way to Italy into the Mediterranean. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Russia, and as well the West Indies. Some big systems there moving northeastward. And as well a low pressure system here heading out of Myanmar into India. So lots of rain heading towards India this week. Big low pressure system is going to be spinning over you. Daily evaporation rains could be pretty heavy this week through parts of Indonesia and as well uh, Sumatra, northern Sumatra, south Sumatra, Papua New Guinea. Overlooking Australia, high pressure ridge is going to be hanging out most of the week. Watch for moisture to move in here Wednesday for parts of southwestern Australia. Other than that, pretty cool. East side, five day forecast over New Zealand, pretty wet throughout the week. No major weather developments there. But across the Pacific right now, we're watching some intense systems develop. We've got one. That's an area of interest for me. Two, three. We've got at least four areas of interest developing in the West Pacific right now. And we've got some interesting, strong low-pressure systems that are going to be coming into northern BC and Alaska later in the week. So watch for very strong winds. Hopefully, there's a lot of rain coupled and putting out those fires. Overlooking Central America and the Central Atlantic. You can see Grace kind of get blown right out there by that strong high pressure ridge in the Atlantic. And then Hurricane Linda here. It looks like it's going to keep formation and do a little zigzag, a little wave over to Hawaii. Looking at daily evaporation rains through Southern America, South America. Possibly heavy and very warm through parts of Colombia this week. The heat is on. As well through Argentina, southern Argentina. Watch for a big system to affect you guys this week. Watch for heavy amounts of snow through the mountain regions here as that low pressure system comes in. Overlooking Africa. No major weather events except for daily evaporation rains could be heavy in the week in the long range forecast through Congo. But we've got one, two, three low pressure systems here that are going to be forming throughout the week. They could be developed Atlantic hurricanes in the long range forecast. 
as well. You got a low pressure system there heading into Madagascar. Very warm temperatures across Arabia and as well Egypt this week, topping out at about 45 degrees Celsius. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out the major systems that are affecting our planet right now. Thanks everybody for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.